Ei, era. I saw your video where you said I'm um, think dark, wicked, a bunch of other choice adjectives. You see this book? In Search of Christian Freedom. Are you free in Christ? True, when you serve Christ, you are enslaved. But you're enslaved to Christ. You're not enslaved to an idea started by the Watchtower Society. Now, I notice that you somehow feel by attacking the character of individuals you will somehow promote your religion to others and you feel you have something to gain by promoting this religion perhaps a good standing with Christ or in your case you believe a heavenly calling well the fact is Adam you're under mind control you were disfellowshipped for something that you now feel guilty for and you've gone back to the Watchtower Society with your tail between your legs what this is doing is allowing the elders of your congregation and the Watchtower Society as a whole to exploit from you and extort from you you will be exploited Adam you will have that held over you for the rest of your existence as a human you will probably die of cancer from rotting internally trying to down live that error that you committed because you're dealing with very unforgiving people yes they'll welcome you back and you'll go through the process of being treated like a farm animal sit seated in the back of the kingdom hall and such but when you say that everyone can just come back and everyone will be welcomed back that's not true Adam and you know that you know that people that are disfellowshipped are not welcomed back they're allowed to come to the meetings, but they are kept like leprosy away from the other members. Basically treated like farm animals. Who in the right mind would want to return to that, Adam? And I say that to you, one who has returned. Who in their right mind would want to return to an organization that does that? Now, I know you find my words very convincing. And you know that I'm right. But that's where you're having trouble, and you're suffering a lot of confusion. You, Maribel, and other Jehovah's Witnesses, Batman, Matrix, all of you know deep down that I'm right. And I've helped many people get out of this religion already. Tim Kilgore has helped many people get out of this religion. I don't know what Lucius has done, but if he's making an effort to help people get out of this religion, then I am supportive of him. You, Adam are judgmental and for that you will be judged you are not free in Christ I walked out Adam I was not disfellowshipped I disfellowshipped myself I chewed my leg off in exchange for freedom freedom to worship Christ the way that Christ wants me to Christ tells me at Luke chapter 21 verse 8 not to go after any who are claiming that the time is at hand or any that are claiming they're anointed which would mean you so you can try to have people follow you like Maribel and perhaps Batman Matrix but I don't think you're gonna get very far you may have fun for a season but I assure you Adam one day you will stand accountable for your actions the same way I'm going to stand accountable for my actions the difference is I don't have guilt I'm not under guilt induction nobody is controlling me nobody is handling me there's one that I turn to and that's Christ and Christ set the criteria when he broke down the two greatest commandments both hinged on love Paul reiterated this when he stated that I can have faith that moves mountains but without love, I am nothing. Love is the key, Adam. Not how much time you get in the ministry. Not how many heads you get to come to the Kingdom Hall. 
Those things are all vanity. It's all for your own self-glory. These are things you have to think about, Adam. And I hope you make right decisions in your life. No matter what names you call me, I wish the best for you, my friend. And I hope that you overcome the guilt that you're under. Ciao.